So this is going to be a full write-up. We have barium hydroxide. That's the more white solid there. And it's actually, it's a white solid, but associated with this barium hydroxide in that white crystalline powder, there are actually what are called eight waters of hydration. Um, they're water molecules that are in the crystal lattice. Bless you. All right, but they're obviously not in the liquid state there. So they're crystallized within this barium hydroxide lattice. We're adding to this ammonium thiocyanate. Uh, and I believe, I believe this equation is found in your book on page 144. It talks about uh, this reaction. So we're going to demo this exact reaction, all right? Um, ammonium thiocyanate is obviously also a solid. And I'm going to draw this, and I want you to fill in the rest of this as part of the introduction to this lab-like experience. So, this is your next do lab-like experience. Your title should be cold bottle experiment. Okay? Cold bottle? Cold. That may become apparent as we go on. So, what you're going to do is take these two solids. You're going to pour the little Erlenmeyer flask into the big Erlenmeyer flask, recork the big Erlenmeyer flask, and just kind of swirl them and stir them up. And give it a, a quite a vigorous stir. Keep stirring. What are you noticing? More heavy. Yeah. So it. it yeah, so we put two solids together, right? We didn't put any liquid in there, did we? But what's happening? Turn into liquid. Okay. Make some more observations for us. Is it hot or cold or anything? It's cold. Is it cold? <laughs> yeah. It's um it's interesting. Why don't you uh take that and here I'm gonna do this. This is why don't you set it right there? Okay, so hopefully, as we, I, I just wanted a nice platform so you could get some video of this. So, um, thanks for that. You got glue on there or something? It's freezing. Mm. Oh. It's freezing. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice if you got a reaction like this, it stays put, right? So, it's kind of a nice trick. So, you made some pretty good observations. I'm going to let you make one final observation before you leave. So, come on over here. Now, we're going to take the cork off of this, and we're going to carefully test to see if there's an aroma. Now, I should have done this first. I should have had you smell the solids, but believe this, there was no noticeable aroma of the solids, okay? Now, when you test a chemical for an aroma, you don't go, <laughs> you do that. So, what did you smell? Have you smelt that smell before? No. <laughs> it's it is different, okay. Um, that smell is one of the products of the chemical reaction. And, and since we have the full balance chemical reaction in your book, um, why don't you take a look at that and see if you can identify what that could possibly be. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is one of the products of this chemical reaction is what? Um, yeah, this. This is NH3 aqueous, but NH3 dissolved in liquid can, it can come out of liquid and be NH3 gas. What I want you to do is think about a hypothesis 
based on the con just the the concept of two solid chemicals mixing, forming a liquid solution that actually evolves a gas. In that context, that's the that's the concept that I want you to to try and address. And then the resultant observations of it obviously being what? Cold, which means what kind of a reaction? Endothermic, right? When we talk about endothermic, we mean that heat is heat is absorbed. Heat is going into the system. Okay? So Take that into context, okay, and put that in your write-up. Remember these write-ups do not have to be immense. Follow the format that I sent out on OWL, okay. Um, a lot of you got tagged a little bit on, on this last one um, that I'll hand back, but uh, don't, let it, don't let it make your Cheerios soggy. This one, I expect you guys all to get in the high 90s on if you write it up appropriately. So.